Hi, I'm Homero Pulaski with Red Hat Consulting. Today I'm here with Nando Ellis, also from Red Hat Consulting. And we're going to talk briefly about some more advanced use cases with Red Hat OpenStack platform. So Nando, last time we talked, we went over the basics of OpenStack and the different projects that it's comprised of, projects like Nova, Neutron, Cinder, Glance, and some others. Have you had time to play with OpenStack since then? Uh, yeah, I have, Homero. I went to OpenStack.org and looked at some of the use cases we have. It was really cool to see the different ways we can query APIs and we can use Python scripting to contact different servers. But I was wondering, I want to get some power in there with some hard drives. Do you know how to connect hardware with, with OpenStack? Yeah, that's actually funny you should ask. I just came off a client engagement recently where they wanted to do just that. So we implemented a feature called PCI Pass-Through, and that's basically where you can take these physical PCI devices, like say a graphics card, or could even be a network interface card or, or some other device, and you attach it straight to the virtual machine. Oh, nice. Uh, so the virtual machines get to use the graphics cards if they were theirs. Did that involve some complicated configuration? So it's actually not that complicated. It's something that Red Hat tries to, or Red Hat OpenStack tries to provide right out of the box. But there was some further configuration that we had to do to really get the client uh, details correct. OK. So that's, yeah. So then did the VMs have multiple GPUs hooked up to them, or were they each individual? So basically, the only rule is that the GPU is owned by only one virtual machine. Hmm. So you could attach two, two GPUs to one virtual machine if you wanted to. You could attach one GPU to one virtual machine, or you could even have just regular virtual machines. It's just that that virtual machine is the sole owner of that GPU. All right. OK, sounds good. So if I, if I have this all hooked up already, uh, what happens when I, when I spin this up and I launch it? So typically what happens is that the instance will launch, and Nova only takes care of attaching the PCI device straight to the virtual machine. And then you have to do the further work of actually configuring the device drivers and any special configuration needed for that device as well. OK, right on. And so then I'll be able to do any big data mining or number crunching with my virtual machines. Right. So in our specific use case, the client actually wanted the virtual machines to be ready to use immediately when they were launched. So we did some custom glance images. And we pre-installed the drivers, pre-configured everything so that when the virtual machine launched, it was ready to go for their specific use case, which was some sort of number crunching. Yep. Oh, right on. Yeah, uh, that's really cool, Homero. I'm excited to hear more of your stories. Thank you, Nando. And if you want to know more, you can go to your Red Hat Consulting Executive, or you can go to redhat.com services to learn more about our training and consulting services and how they can work for you and your business.